This is the Instron machine. This is the frame. And this is the desktop that connected with the frame to write a test and to run the test and to analyze and extract the data that we have tasted. For any test you run, make sure that you went through the safety requirements, you went through the um, manuals, and you have uh, safety protection like uh, safety goggles and then coat and other things that you need. Turn on the frame, there is a button at the back, press on to turn the frame on. The frame is turning on. Turn on the software which is called Blue Hill. Click on it. The software is turning on. The software The software will ask for password. When you have the password, just enter the password. Remember, we have to turn on the frame first and then try to turn on the software which is called Blue Hill 3. When we turn on the software, it may show this um, dialog that the software is unable to establish communication with the device. So you have to say yes and keep trying. The thing is that um, after turning on the frame, it takes some time, like five minutes, to get ready. And when we turn on the software, it tries to communicate with the frame. When it can't communicate, it may show the dialogue, and then you have to press yes to keep trying. After five minutes or so, it should be able to connect with the frame, and the frame will show that it's ready. So the power light is on, and the frame is ready. So that means the frame and the desktop, mean, meaning the software, is connected. These are the grip setups that we need to set up to mount a testing specimen. These are the grips, and these are the pin, and this is the setup to connect the grips with the frame here. First, we have to connect the system with the base adapter. So I'll place it here and then we have to lock it with inserting the pin in this hole. When we have placed the pin to lock the system, then we have to use a lock wire to lock the pin so that it may not uh, move around. So now it's, it's uh, ready to work. Before we mount the grips on the system, we need to uh, connect the testing specimen with the grips first. So this is the view that both grips are connected with the testing specimen. So to connect the specimen with the grips, I just rotate the specimen and the thread of the specimen and the grips just goes in. But to make sure that the specimen is well inside the grip and the grip can hold uh, the specimen throughout the test, you have to make sure by looking 
on the side that the specimen is going through all the threads that the grip has. Otherwise, the grip may not hold the specimen and it can um, break during the test. The specimen may uh, slip out from the grips. So make sure that uh, the specimen goes all the way through to the threads of the grip. Before loading up the grip specimen to the system, make sure that the both ends, these both ends are well far away. By pressing this button up, I am taking the upper portion well enough to fit the grips and specimen setup. Always start to mount the grip to the upper part. It will the hole should go like this and then the pin will go through this hole to lock it up. After attaching the grip with the top part of the frame, you can type the system by rotating this part. Now remember that I said um, we have to attach the top part before we have attached the bottom part with this grip because we have to attach both end both grips with the both top and bottom end without damaging the specimen so when we have attached the top part now we have to um, use the down button to bring the specimen close to the bottom part. You have to be very careful if this grip hits this base, base adapter and doesn't go through the hole. It will create compression by touching this, ba this uh, grip with this base, base and then the specimen will be damaged. So you have to be very careful when you are uh, pulling down the frame to uh, connect the bottom grip with the bottom adjustment. To avo avoid compression, when the grip is almost near to the base, you see I brought the grip down almost to the base then instead of using down button we have to use this scrolling um, system this uh, it says fine position so if we put it downward the frame will go down very slowly and that way you can be sure that we are not making um, compress compressive force by touching this part with this part. The bottom part should go through the hole of the grip, but there is a chance that it may not go directly through the grip because it's shaking, because it's not fixed yet. So there is a chance that if it's not, the alignment is not right, and then it may, instead of going through the hole, it may hit each other, and a compressive force may damage the specimen. So you have to be very careful and look through that the pin is really going through the hole of the grip. Once the grip and the lower part is well aligned, we can put, bring the grip down and then um, this 
whole of the grip should go through the hole of the pin here okay through this hole we have to lock it with the pin like this one so when the grip hole this one and the base connector hole is aligned we have to connect lock the hole by using this pin so when i was trying to insert the pin i see that the they are not perfectly aligned so the pin is not going through easily so what do you have to do like for that use the find positioning scroll to uh, make it loose or tight and now you see it goes really easy and then we have to lock it again with the wire lock so that the pin doesn't come out so we have to adjust to lock and tighten using these systems at the top and at the bottom so both of them should be touching with the lower part and touch it here at the top should be touching the upper part not touching the grip before the test we can see that the pin is easily moving through the grip and this pin also easily moving through the grip so if we run test in this position this extra space will add error to the extension to the measuring strain so to remove this lag we have to use this fine positioning scrolling bar to add some load very small load and it should stop moving so i am adding loads to remove the slack i have to add loads by using a fine positioning scroll bar so i add some load it's in newton so it's not that much and you see it's it's the pin is is still um, moving but this become a bit tight so i will add a little more load and now i can see the pin is not moving both of the pin is tight so there is no extra extension in the system so it's tight now whatever i load used to pull the specimen it will measure only the real strain real deformation of the specimen now the frame is ready to run test but before running a test we need to know how to write a test method in the blue hill 3 instance software in the next tutorial i'll show how to write a test in blue hill 3 software